primary schools are factory farming our children with teachers bogged down in bureaucracy that does nothing to help pupils learn. The impassioned claims tonight in the resignation letter of a Sussex head teacher who says that government policy is damaging pupils and teachers alike. Kit Messenger, who is head of Manorfield School in Burgess Hill, has criticised moves to narrow the curriculum, claiming that schools are judged only on reading, writing and mathematics. And she told our education correspondent, Bryony McKenzie, that she's no longer willing to enforce a regime of tests that she doesn't believe is right for pupils. It's been a huge decision. Um, 16 years at this school, four as head teacher. It took a year to decide whether she should resign over the government's education policy. The school is a strong school. Maybe if I felt differently, I, would, I wouldn't go. But we've got a great leadership team and we've got great staff. Um, I think it probably is about the people with the most passion that feel the most strongly, maybe. And therefore, uh, you have to, in the end, say, I don't believe in that. I'm willing to give it up in order to try and change things. Today we spoke to parents picking up their children following the news. I fully support her in the decision yeah. that she's taken. That you know, it wasn't an easy decision to take, and you can see how much heartbreak it's caused her. It's just such a shame to, to be taken away, um, and the school will lose out at the end of the day. If someone like Kit feels this strongly that she will resign her post because of what's going on in education, it's made me feel very inspired and. Um, that I would really like to know about the issues. In the letter, the head cites testing and the narrowing of the curriculum as failings in the education system, as well as criticising academies. But the government maintains schools being given more freedom will improve standards. I do think it's somewhat counterintuitive. Uh, government policy is very much to free up local schools through academisation and also the free school programme, uh, which gives greater control over local schools uh, by head teachers and their governing bodies. If Nikki Morgan was sitting here now, what would you say? I would say listen to schools and about how we can measure standards in a better way. I want every school to be great for children. It's not about me not feeling we need to be tough about standards. Of course we do, but let's, let's look at measuring it differently. Let's look at the curriculum again and say, is that right for children? Is it right at the times of their lives? That's what I would say. I would hope she'd listen. Oh, well, Bryony McKenzie is in Burgess Hill for us now. And Bryony, um, I think it's fair to say that uh, similar concerns are being expressed in different quarters across the South East about the government's plans to turn all schools into academies. Yes, Rob, that academies issue raised in that resignation letter today and raised by councillors at a Kent County Council meeting. In fact, they have voted to write to the Education Secretary, Nikki Morgan, to try and persuade her to do a U-turn on this uh, academies policy. Why are they asking that? Well, they say they simply uh, don't believe that making schools become academies will improve standards. And in fact, they believe there could be a financial pressure put upon them by having that conversion. So it's an issue, academies that are uniting teachers, it's uniting politicians, in fact, but it's certainly causing division, certainly among some ranks of the Conservative Party, something that the government will want to avoid if it's to push ahead with this flagship policy. OK, Barney, thank you.